Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. And if you want to be really good at golf, you have to be really, really good at chipping. There's two major mistakes that people make that prohibit them from being great around the greens. I'm going to show you what those mistakes are, and I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. Okay, you've hit a great tee shot. You hit it 320 yards, dead center of the fairway. You got 160 yards of the pin. You take out your seven iron. You're going, this is it, birdie time. And you chunk it, you blade it. It's not great. You're off the green. You miss greens. We, us, amateur golfers, we miss greens a lot. Professional golfers miss greens. What do you do from here? You got to make this count. This is a stroke. This could turn your par into a triple bogey instantly. Let me tell you why. Number one, golfers get to the ball and they take a backswing. I'm hitting this ball 11 yards and they take a swing to here for a chip shot. Come on, man. It's right there. How about here? That's step one. Don't take it back so far. Just take it to here and go. The second thing is they get to the ball and immediately their weight goes back. That opens up the club face, sure, but they are trying to lift the ball up because as you can see, this is a red flag and it's four paces from the green. What do you do? Do you hit it real high and let it come down? Do you bump and run it? Like, wh what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you what I do all the time. This is how I use it. Number one, I have a 69 degree club. This allows me to take a little bit smoother swing and not worry that the ball is gonna go off the other side of the green. The second thing I do, I take all my weight, I put it on my front foot, and I lift the club to here, and I just run it into the back of the ball. That's it. There's no special sauce or special anything. It's literally here and there. I'm gonna hit six balls. I'm gonna try to make par on all six. Is that gonna happen? No. But if I make par out of four of them, I've done my job, okay? So here we go. We get to the ball, all the weight goes forward. I lift the club to here and I run it into the ball, just like this. Nothing more, nothing less than that. Get the ball on the green. Weight forward, let the club run into the ball. That's a little deep. I can still make a putt. I didn't hit it off the back of the green. I did not chunk it. The chunking is the thing that drives people insane because they take this giant backswing and then what? They decelerate, their weight's back, and boom, and it goes right here. So let's play it. Here it comes off the fairway. Boom. Now, weight forward, that. Weight forward, that. Here we go. Easy. Almost made it. Want to see another one? Off the fairway. Ball comes down. Weight forward. Look at this. My back foot's off the ground. I'm going to hit this one with my back foot off the ground. Head down to here and let it run into the ball. That's not bad. It's a little deep. It's on the green. It's not terrible. So what do I have? One great, two that I'm putting. This is a terribly, terribly, terribly tough shot. You have no room to work with here. This is the extreme case. Usually pins in the middle or a little bit further back than the front edge. So this is an extreme situation. I, I picked the hardest one possible so that you can see that this really is not that hard. I hope this is in camera. I'm going to move it. It doesn't matter. Here, this is what we're doing. Wait forward, swing to here, and forward. Wait forward, swing to there, and forward. Ready? Keep your head down, swing to there, and forward. There's another one. On the green, I have a chance to putt. So I have three opportunities at par, one guaranteed par. But wait, there's more. Let's try this. We got two more. So 
I'm, I'm, I'm putting for par on all of them. I didn't hit anything chunky. I haven't hit anything off the back of the green. I have an opportunity. I gave myself a breath. Whether I make that putt or not, hey, that's on me. That's a whole different story. But here, let's get this so you can see it. Here, wait forward, swing to there, and forward. Here we go. Ready? Go in. Ooh. Okay, I have two guaranteed and three makeable. One more. Okay, one more. Weight forward, barely off, barely touching with my back foot. Here, forward, here, forward. I keep my head down, I'm not taking a giant swing, I'm not doing this, I'm just weight forward, run the club into the ball. Run the club into the ball. That's a little long, but still makeable. I will make three, let's go look, let's go look. Point of the story is I chunked zero. I bladed zero. These are all okay. These are all okay. Obviously those two are kick-ins and those four, I'll probably make them. I'll make three out of four of them. So it's called saving par. You must do it. You must practice that. Weight forward, smaller backswing and let the club run into the ball. I hope this helps your chipping. It will help your game. Go practice. See ya.